you can see forever in all directions If only you look, she said You can see forever in all directions You can see forever you Through my work, I learned a lot about the environmental issues we face one of which was air travel. So, when the time came for me to go home, I hit a problem. How to get there without flying. Soon after meeting Luana, one of the first things she asked me was if I'd like to travel with her back to Australia. I immediately said yes. But she wanted to get there as sustainably as possible. There was only one option. The bicycle. You, are you, are you, yeah, and then are we going to grease the wheel bearings? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, then that's a good idea. Plow. Get your grease gun in. And squirt it in. And squirt it in. Is the grease gun point that small? Yeah, it's got a nice little point on it. We think we're going to be stopping probably about once a week at a bed and breakfast or a youth hostel. Or if we're doing okay with money, I'm sure we'll stop off at a hotel occasionally. But most of the time, we're going to be camping because you haven't got enough money to stay in a hotel each night. And some of the countries we're going through, I don't think we'll even have the opportunity to camp. From what we've heard from other cyclists, you get invited into people's homes every day. And the struggle of getting through the country is more, more because people are so friendly that you can't get away from each place where everybody wants you to come and stay and everyone wants you to come and share a meal with them. And that that's more of a problem than actually running out of places to stay. So we should, we should do okay. It's only now that it's really dawning on me what we're actually doing and I'm starting to freak out a bit and question whether or not we really are up for it, you know, we're doing the next year and a half cycling, day in, day out, so the next year and a half together, just the two of us, day in, day out. It's going to be really amazing for our relationship to go through this journey to try and find out more about each other, more about what we mean to each other, more about what we are ourselves and doing it together should be an incredibly strengthening, bonding experience. Well, it's early on Sunday morning and we left London yesterday in the chaos and the traffic of London and that go faster with all the cars, I think we got faster out of London than anybody else yesterday, which was great, made us feel good. We're a bit nervous about going overseas. We're not going to be in another English-speaking country for about the next 15 or 16 months, and neither of us are too hot on other languages, much to our embarrassment, so it's going to be a good learning experience, but can't wait to get going. After two years of planning this expedition and millions of times imagining what it would be like to actually get on the ferry and leave England, we're finally here. We finally arrived in the Netherlands. I just can't believe it. It really feels like now it's happening and we are cycling to Australia. And from there we're going to be heading up to Amsterdam. We should be getting to Amsterdam tomorrow hopefully. Don't know where we're going to camp tonight when we get over there, but we're going to take it, take it as it comes, see what happens. So we really missed you this morning as well. We've had loads of ice forming all over our hands. It's the first time I've taken my gloves off today so far. It's warmed up a little bit now. It's been really, really cold. It's making us long even more for the hot weather which we're going to find in countries to come. But this is still beautiful. 